Glentoran are well drilled, usually have a strong game plan and come with a winning mentality. So it's little surprise Jason Lindsay's under 14 sides have not lost since 2015. Glentoran in their traditional green, black and red came out of the blocks from the first whistle. Cliftonville in white and red spied the danger early on and battled in midfield, but first blood went to the Glens. They took the lead at the dub through Elliot Wood 10 minutes in, set up effortlessly by Matthew Carson and are requiring just a simple chip from a central position. Cliftonville's attempts to worm their way into the game, even in the early stages, were quickly smothered by the dominant Glens. This curled attempt landing in the box but bouncing out of play. Cliftonville goalkeeper Ross Matea saw the ball soon after this goal kick as Lindsay's boys began to turn the screw. The athletic Connor Falls won it in to find Charlie Lindsay, who served up Wood for his brace on 18 minutes. A confident finish from inside the box. Six minutes later, a free kick from the far left side of the pitch was to provide a direct attack for the Glens. Mary Wilson earning a place on the score sheet for leaping to poke one home with his left foot, meaning a quite the sucker punch for the Reds. Ethan Carey strived to be creative in midfield, but Glen Torrent upped the gears and chased further goals with consummate ease. Johnny Russell picked the ball up and charged down the left side with it glued to his instep before passing to Lindsay, who struck with great control, demanding strong reactions from Matea. With a clear target in sight though, Connor Falls pounced, leaning into a classy left-footed finish. Trailing 4-0 at the break, Cliftonville couldn't say that they weren't warned that the second half would be just as tough. As the rain got heavier, the Reds' wide players found it impossible to contain Falls, who outpaced his marker Chris Campbell from just his side, his own half, to sprint toward goal. He lured Matea off his line for that one, and with an open goal at his mercy, slotted coolly into the bottom opposite corner of the net. At the other end, and desperately chasing a comeback, Cliftonville's Jackson Reed raced toward Dylan Graham's goal, but his ball in was headed away into Jake Wallace's path. Glenn's skipper Callum Marshall kept possession, staving off his marker well, to find inform falls, who crossed to Wood, who showing fantastic control, pivoted in front of goal and completed his hat-trick, 56 minutes in. The wet conditions did nothing to discourage Glentoran, including the prodigal Charlie Lindsay, who escaped a trio of opposition players before connecting with Aaron Whiteman on the right side. His high, looping cross was headed away, but Jamie McDonnell was loitering to restart the attack. The powerful Matthew Carson Released the ball from the left, providing the perfect assist for Callum Marshall to tap in easily. Bringing the score to Glentoran 7, Cliftonville 0. The free scoring Glentoran side still had more in the tank as the minutes ticked away. Carson drove the ball forward for Charlie Lindsay after having put in an exceptional shift to earn some of the glory himself. Glentoran 8, Cliftonville 0. Oh, it's a very, very difficult game for us today, but look, to be, we have to credit Glen Torn. Glen Torn are a super excited at our age group. Um, we told our boys, go be brave and, and go on and, and try and take the game to them, but you've seen today, they're, they're a cut above everyone at our, at our age group, and I know they're the benchmark, and I think they, they deserve their win today. I'm not going to harm my boys, my boys gave it their all today. Um, but credit to Glen Torn, credit to their coaches, uh, super, superb side, and, and fully deserve their win today. Yes, the boys were all on it from the first whistle, the five plays from the they're really, really kicking on now, come the turn of the year here, so I'm really pleased and happy. Uh, just again, the, the work rate and the commitment they have for each other, you know, the, the boys never give up, and every ball, they chase every ball down, if you see in the last goal, you know, many teams would have left it, but we took a quick throw and got the ball moving fast, it was a great goal to finish off with. Just happy with them all, but you know, when summer, Elliot, we've got another hat-trick, you know, the, the last time he was in TV, he got a hat-trick, I think he should come every week.